guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to start a new project pan. <laughs> I know I have another one going on right now, and I'm probably going to add in a few more because I have my sample project pan, I have my seven deadly pans, and now I'm going to do eight pans by Easter. So this pet this pan. So this project is actually in collab with Courtney K here on YouTube. I'm just kind of adding into her collab with somebody else she has going on, but I watch her. Um, so I will link her channel down below in her intro video so that you guys can check it out. But basically these two ladies picked out eight different words that kind of correspond with the Easter season. It's not like a religious project pan or anything like that. It's just like an Easter type of themed project pan. So the eight words that they picked out, I'm looking down at my notes by the way, are bunny, pastel, Easter basket, chocolate, jelly bean, flower, spring, and Easter egg. So I picked out eight products to correspond with each of those words and I have my own little explanations for them. And I know my last one was long and it was only seven pro products. so. I'm gonna get right into this one. So basically this pan will go from right now when I'm filming to Easter, which is, I think it's April 1st this year is Easter. So I don't have very long at all, less than four months now. So I am going to try to use up these products and get them out of my collection or some of them I just wanna hit pan on. So I will show you guys and I will tell you the progress that I wanna make on each of them. So. For real now, let's get into it. So the first word was bunny. And when I was a bit younger, I went up north with a friend and we purchased a bunny for her mother's house. And the bunny was white. And I named the bunny monkey because he was so cute. And I don't know why, I just wanted to name him monkey. And then she let, she like didn't like that name. So when we left, she changed the name to like snowflake or something. But either way, the bunny that I associate the word bunny with is a white bunny. So I picked out a white nail polish and it is from WHIM, W-H-I-M. It's actually the nail polish I have on my nails right now. And it's getting old, I can tell, because when I painted my nails, it chipped the next day. So I'm really excited to get this out of my collection. I just purchased a different white nail polish that I really want to use, but I want to use this one up first. So this white nail polish is in the shade Marshmallow Muse. And I actually weighted all of my products again because like this one, I can't see any progress on it like physically. So instead of like looking at progress and doing line markers, cause most of these I can't see the progress, I decided to do the weights again, just like I did in my seven deadly pans. So I went by grams for all these as well to keep my channel completely cohesive with the numbers. So for this product, there is 57 grams that I am starting with in here. So I'm gonna use it as much as I can. I'm gonna use it on my toes as well, but I just love white nail polish. Next word is pastel. And for me, I just wanted to pick out something that was pastel in color. So I actually picked out two little samples of the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I've had these samples for quite a long time. One of them I had longer than the other, but they were both closed and sealed, so I don't know which one was the older one. So I plan on using both of these up. I actually used it today and I really enjoyed it, but I weighted it before I used it today, and these two products together were 20 grams. I'm gonna try to get through both of these primers. I don't go through primers very quickly, but I'm gonna try to get through them both, and if not, at least completely finish one. The next product category is Easter Basket, and I just thought of, like, the old school like not the colored baskets just like the old school like wood wicker baskets and I picked out a foundation because I feel like my foundation is the color of a wood wicker basket and this foundation is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint foundation it's in the shade nude 40 that is my shade and this is the foundation I am wearing today so I plan on hopefully using this all up. This is about two years old, maybe less, maybe like a year and a half. But either way, I just wanna get this used up. There is one fluid ounce in here and I have used it quite a few times before putting it in this project, but right now it's the perfect shade for me, so I wanna use it while I can. And I weighted this as well, and this is 88 grams right now. The next category is 
chocolate. <laughs> and I know most people are probably going to do like a shade of something, like an eyeshadow shade that's like a chocolate color or something from the chocolate bar palette, something like that. But for me, I think of how I feel about chocolate, if that's weird enough. Like I love chocolate. If you know me at all, probably even here on my channel, I love chocolate. Chocolate's like my favorite thing ever. Like gotta get some chocolate. Anyways, so I actually picked out this blush in my um, Z palette. It's like the BoxyCharm Z palette. And it's the blush right here. It's actually from Makeup Geek and it's in the shade Infatuation because I'm infatuated with chocolate, right? Okay, I know. <laughs> I make up like the weirdest th reasons for things, but I just, I'm having fun with this. So here is the blush shade here. It's actually the blush that I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I did a very, very light coating, but my plan with this one is to hit pan. Is that, I don't know if I can do it. I've really not used this. This is basically brand new, but it's been in my Z palette for a long time and I really want to get it out of there so I can put four more single shadows in the Z palette. So that's my plan with this one. I'm hoping to hit pan. I don't know if we're gonna do it, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. The weight on this one, the grams, is 11 grams on this. So that's including just like this. I took it out of the Z palette to weigh it. So 11 grams here. The next category is jelly bean. So bear with me as I explain this one. I don't eat like jelly beans or like sugary, sticky candies because my teeth are so incredibly sensitive. I just, I can't handle it on my teeth. It's very, very painful for me. I don't even chew gum because it's so painful. But when I think of jelly bean, I actually think of the Harry Potter jelly beans. Do you guys know all those weird flavors like the earwax and the vomit and the grass and I can't even, oh, buttered popcorn? Oh, gross. Anyways, if you know what I'm talking about, they're disgusting, but they're so cool. That's what I think of when I think of the word jelly bean. I think of the Harry Potter jelly beans. And when I think of Harry Potter, I think of like my favorite parts about the Harry Potter movies. It's always like the travels. So the journey to get to Hogwarts. And I was thinking like, what can I do about like traveling and stuff like that? So that led me to this bronzer. <laughs> this is a Wet n Wild Color Icon bronzer and it is in the shade Ticket to Brazil, right? Isn't that the best explanation ever for using a bronzer <laughs> for the word jelly bean? So you guys are probably thinking to pick like a crazy eyeshadow color or something like that, but I, that's, that was my thought process for this word and I just wanted to go with it because I was having a lot of fun with it. So the bronzer is actually underneath the blush shade there and yeah, I want to hit pan on this bronzer. You can still see the Wet n Wild engraving and a little bit of the sun here, but yeah, I think I'm going to be able to hit pan. I can already see like the rings starting to form over here on this side where I've used it more. So the next two items are actually going to come from my Urban Decay Vice Loaded or Vice Limited Reloaded palette. And I don't know if this is like 20, I don't know. I probably got this two years ago, I think two years ago. Um, and I got it on sale and this is what the palette looks like. Let me not blind you. This is what the palette looks like. So for the next two words, the first one was flower, my absolute favorite flower. And my husband knows this cause he knows I love them. I love sunflowers. They are just so beautiful and big and bold and the stems are really strong and sturdy. I don't know, I just love sunflowers. Andrea Matiliano gets sunflowers like in her background sometimes and I always comment to her like how beautiful they are because I love sunflowers. Anyways, once again, long explanation to tell you that I love sunflowers. But I am going to use the shade Gold Mine here. Gold Mine. And it is a very yellow gold color and yeah, I'm not sure how much use I'm going to get out of it. I don't think I'm going to hit pan, but I want to use it enough where I can 
give you guys a review of it, like and tell you if I like it or not. But that is the swatch of it there. And I think it's such a beautiful yellow gold color and I can see myself putting it all over the lid or underneath the eye. And I think it'll be really fun to use. So that's for flower. So the next word is spring. And when I think of spring, I think of like the rainy season. I think of like all the greens coming back and the smells and everything like that. So I actually picked the shade Mildew and it's right here in the palette. It's the darker green. There is a shade called Acid Rain beneath it, but I really wanted to focus on Mildew because I think it'll work better coming out of the winter months. I've been loving green lately for some reason. I actually have done quite a few green eye looks. I should do a tutorial on one of them. But I think this color green is going to be so flattering with some of the different eye looks that I've been coming up with. I'm just going to use up some of these products, have some fun with them, and just kind of go with it. But those were my two shades for flower and spring. And then my very last word I have here is Easter egg. And for Easter egg, okay. Go with me on this explanation here. So when I think of Easter egg, I think of when I was a kid and we would search for our Easter eggs. And the best ones were always the ones with the coins in them, right? Like the dollars were cool, but for some reason I loved shaking the ones with the coins. Even if it was like three pennies, I loved it. <laughs> it was so much fun. And then you got to put it in your piggy bank at the end of you know opening up all your eggs and it was just so much fun. So I wanted to pick something that was cheaper in my collection, or maybe not cheaper, but just less expensive in my collection to go with the coins. And then I wanted to pick something that I loved because I loved looking for Easter eggs. It was so much fun. So I landed on a ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Cami. And it's actually the lipstick I have on my lips today. I wanted to wear quite a few of these products to show you guys, but this is the Matte X formula and I love this one. I actually do have a backup of it too, which is another reason why I want to try to use it up because I want to start using some of my backups and not have backups anymore. But here is the color here and I just think it's the most beautiful color. I wear this shade in the winter time. I wear it in the summertime. I wear it in the spring, in the fall. It doesn't matter. I love this shade, but I have quite a bit of product left on this one which is crazy to me because of the amount that I actually wear this. I really do think I can do it with some discipline. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know, it's gonna be hard to use it all up but I think I can do it. And I did weigh this product just like this with all the packaging and the lid and it weighs 11 grams so I think I can use this whole thing up. That is my goal. Not to use it halfway, but use it all the way. So I think I'm gonna have to use it like literally every day. But I love that shade, so I don't think it should be hard to use at all. So those are the products that I chose for my 8 by Easter project pan, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm really enjoying doing these project pans where I have less products to go through, but things that I feel like I can actually use and have a good time with. And I'm really having fun picking out products for these like weird words and stuff like that. It's actually really interesting to think about products in your collection that kind of go with all these words. I don't know. I'm having fun with it. So I hope you guys are too. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. Go check out Courtney's channel down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.